Can you feel it in the air? We're in the month of December, and our Cleveland Browns only have three losses, and usually by this point we're lucky if we have three wins. But Mike Polk, 8-3, and three, feels a whole lot better than 3-8. and eight. It feels a heck of a lot better, and I, for one, am celebrating. It does seem like the fan base is having a hard time processing this, some of them <laughs> at least, and that's why I thought it might be helpful if I were to give them a little bit of advice. Take a look. Hey, folks. You know, I'm hearing a lot of negative Nellies out there clucking about how the Browns aren't actually as good as their 8-3 record suggests, but that they're merely benefiting from an easy schedule and racking up cheap wins against inferior opponents. Well, here's what I have to say to you people. There's definitely a lot of truth in that. We are barely winning games against dumpster dweller teams, and most of the time, we do not look good doing it. <laughs> but here's the thing about that. I don't care about that. You know what I care about? The Browns are eight and three. Who are we Browns fans to suddenly become picky about how we win football games? Did some of you just get here? I wouldn't care if one of those wins were against Appalachian State. Rack it up. Look, as I said, could this team be better? Yes. Is the roster perfect? Send a no. But guys, while you're out here griping about how we're a mediocre team barely beating terrible teams, do I really need to remind you that we just spent the last 20 years being the terrible team that was barely being beaten by mediocre teams? And I gotta tell you, having now tasted both sides of the action, I strongly prefer this situation. I think what we need here is just a little perspective to remind us where we came from so we can appreciate where we are. So, here are five reasons the Browns fans should cherish this moment. Number one, with eight wins, we cannot have a losing season this year. This will be the first time since 2007, which is very sad. Number two, we've won eight games so far this year. Between 2015 and 2017, we won four games total. That's improvement. Number three, if the season ended right now, we'd be in the playoffs, which would be quite novel. Fun fact, we have never played a playoff game in our stadium. <laughs> Number four, next time you feel disappointed in a Browns win, remember we once lost a game because a guy threw his helmet in the air. And number five, next time you feel disappointed in our quarterback, remember we once had a quarterback get trapped under a really big flag. Not great. You know what I really think our problem is? This is all so new to us. We're like rookies at winning. We have no experience at supporting a good football team and we're still learning how to do it. Here's hoping we get some more practice. And remember, next time you're fretting about how the Browns just barely beat Jacksonville last week, even though Jacksonville's terrible, just remind yourself of this. The Browns are eight and three. <laughs> Yes, they are. Now, let me be honest with you, Mike. I, I'm one of those guys. I think this is fool's gold, but after watching your piece, heck, I don't care. I'll take fool's gold at this point, yes. Jay. Who are we to turn down fool's gold? It's shinier than the rocks we usually have. And remember, <laughs> the Browns are eight and three. Yes, they are. And boy, is that sweet. <laughs> Mike, thank you. Jimmy, back to you. All right, thank you both. Now I'm really excited about being eight and three.